Welcome back to another 10 minute jobs today. We're helping the boy out. We're gonna go over how to put on wiper blades. It's gonna be the first thing we're gonna do among another problem. I don't know if he wants to talk about it yet. <laughs> we had a little issue at the gas station. We'll get to that right now. We're gonna do a real quick one on the wiper blades because he bought those. Trying to get set up here. Wiper blade up. So most wiper blades are pretty darn similar. You're gonna find some sort of little tab. See this? Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna unlock it one way or the other. And then you can usually slide it. Oh, there it comes. Pops out like that. And then you all you have is this hook right here. Right? And that's it. So your new one, typically, it's just gonna be the same thing. See that? Yeah. Got the little hook and everything. So what we gotta do is get this end in here. Try to line things up. Get in there. There it goes. And then it snaps. You hear it? Now it's locked in there. Close this fancy little doodad up. Take this off. That's just a protector for the blade part. All right, you do the other one. See, simple. Yeah. Do this tab? Yep. And then you're pushing down this way. But be careful not to let this go, because if it slams down, it could snick crack your windshield. Very bad. All right, here's a new one. So you can kind of flick this up out of the way. Yep. And then it's going to go like this, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of line it up, shove that up in there, like straight in, straight in till they line up. Oh, I'm not filming at all. It was terrible. <laughs> so kind of push it. We want to match this area. So the hook's got to go down in there, mm -hmm. right? Around that little end. We'll help match this area to up here. If that makes any sense. There it is. Bingo. You got it. Yep. That's it. Take your protector off. Boom, done. Another 10 minute job in the books. Oh, we're spraying. We're wiping. Ooh, better? Yeah. Job done. Today, we're fixing the old cameraman's truck behind him. 99 Silverado 4x4, 4.8 liter V8 um, gas station. Want to tell him what happened? I was uh, going to fill up gas, and then I realized the gas was just going straight through right down there. So what we got to do get the old filler neck because it rusted and we're going to see how bad it is underneath there so if we look underneath now which i should have brought a flashlight with me oh look at this guy oh, yeah. okay get that flashlight is it working yeah right here so it's a rubber hose nothing too special about it but up here that's where it's all rusted so what we're going to do is take this guy off take it off back this way from the connector if you guys can see it to the tank and then start calling around to different shops see if anybody's got it in stock or if we got to get it on order
next we gotta get up in here and get to the clamp it's right here so need a little driver or screwdriver up in there Okay, this is what we're dealing with. Tight space to see the least, say the least, whatever those words are. We gotta get to that guy right there. Action! Welcome back, folks. Well, I guess there's no time difference there. For us, it was two days for these parts to show up. So let's see what we got. We uh, got in the zone. There's that hose. That's the outer kind of protector hose, I'm going to call it. Yeah, I'm going to go with protector hose. This. this is the important part. See, this guy's got everything we need ground wire, the entire fill neck, and then that goes all the way down into the tank. This goes over top of that, and that's our breather hose. Easy peasy, right? Right? Well, this even came with clamps. How cute. I like it. He's trying not to laugh behind the camera, by the way. It's affecting his camera. I can tell he's not even pointing at me. Yes, it is. Don't forget to put these on beforehand. Ask me how I know. How do you know? Well, I forgot. And then I had to take it all back apart. And it wasn't cool. Bruh. Mm. Damn that. Damn it. Damn it. In fact, I can probably do. Probably getting ahead of myself. Jam that right up on there. Hopefully, it doesn't cause an issue. Besides, maybe the rotational factors involved here. But we need to hope that these screws were left where the bits that go. There they, are. there they are. We got them all. So let's check and see if China threaded these correctly. I believe this is a Dorman part, in case you're wondering. I don't know if people want part numbers. I guess I could find those. I mean, cross threading is a type of threading, right? There we go. So the filler neck is your item part number, Dorman, fuel neck, all that, and then the outer tube is this one here, which I don't know if you can see those part numbers are those coming up in there. Do you even GoPro? Do you even GoPro bro? Cliff. See? See that's what happens. Focus. Good enough. All right, back to what we were doing. I'm just sort of really interrupting. So that's in a new spot. Shouldn't matter. I reckon that won't matter. I mean, again, cross-threaded is a type of threaded. So I'm gonna go with. All right, we're gonna go try it out. Be right back.
action. Found it. It was in my pocket. What a surprise. You gotta check the little edges of your pocket. The light. The, the thank you. Boy. She's gonna fight me to the better end. Can I get? Can I? Can I get? Just a little bit of help here. Ugh. Yeah, I got a different ratchet. I don't know if you noticed that. Bonus prize, whoever noticed. Oh wait, I told you. I need some live action up in this place. Can do a live fix someday? Let's fix this truck live. Yeah, we're it'll, good. It'll do the job. Yeah, it'll do the job. Alright, so let's um, put this guy on. I doubt this still fits on here, does it? No, that was made for a. Yeah, it fits right through there, so that'll keep a good leash on it. <laughs> I like it. We're going to use that for that so that this doesn't get away. That was five clicks. It's important. Close that down. Alright, back under here. And then we're going to need to, uh, we're going to need some sockets and some sprays, some clips and some clamps. So if we fall out, we have to, whoa, what happened here? We're back. Remember our old ground wire that I went and ripped off? I'm still proud of that. Um, but this guy, we got to take that out of there. Just unscrew it, no big deal, right? It's not like this truck is rusty or anything. And then, we will take and fish this up here. You know what I just realized? And I'm gonna blame the child for this. Look at that. Look at that. That, that, that. <laughs> These? That. This is what I warned us about. <laughs> That, that's exactly what I was talking about not happening. <laughs> that's precisely what I didn't want to have. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. Um, why am I a cameraman? I'm supposed to do the work. I got a cameraman and work and fix the flashlights. What kind of rinky dink operation? What are you doing to that light over there? Right there. Is this the on button? It is. Oh, look here. Um, you think you could hold a camera? No. I don't want to put too much stress in it. Boy. I forgot to put the bracket things on. That does not seem long enough. At all. Maybe it's not. It's not long enough. Boy, oh boy. What the, uh, how'd that happen? Maybe if I straighten her out a little bit. Getting closer, but. That's not, uh... It's kind of bad, folks. That's just flat out not gonna reach. Flat out, straight up. Amazon fail. Or not Amazon. Sorry, Amazon. <laughs> We're friends, don't worry. It's an AutoZone fail. You know what I bet's going on here, folks? I bet this is for a step side. Oh. Where that's closer. Not a fleet side. Like 99% of all Silverado's sold. Why would they sell this to me? Why would I choose this? It might be my fault. I don't know. 
we'll do some research or not and just say it's not my fault but that's a that's a tough break this is just not going to work no matter what we do all right folks we got the proper part correct length and we're going to throw that in. So in the meantime, while we waited, we used the old one. Just kind of jerry-rigged it on there. It worked for the time being. So we've got that out. Got the new one. Slide it in here. This little bracket that's gonna hold the vent hose. Okay. That back on there. Okay, so this I'm gonna go into the tank first. There you go. I'm just gonna put that under there, close up the clamp, and then we'll bolt it in the top and we'll show you here in a second. Alright folks, that is the job done. So I'll tighten up here. Just gonna bring the ground, everything connected, zip tied, that circuit goes around to the back, up in there. Just leave. See. We're all tied down there too. Clint down, cleaned up. Two minute job complete. Thank you. Shaky, shaky. Cut that part out. To here. Bolt it in. Done. All right, that's another 10 minute job complete. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe, like button, all that stuff. See you again next time. We're about to do uh, front wheel bearings, idler arm. Either bracket right now. Look out for those.